Okay, this is where we are now. Uh, hopefully this is the last fill. I've done uh, a little bit of fill and sanding since the last time here. Uh, over here, I think I must have got a little greedy with the heat because I had a pretty good dip there. Uh, there's not as much filler as it looks like there. It's actually pretty thin, but uh, there's a few little low and wavy spots that I had to kind of work out. But getting pretty close now. Hopefully I'll have some primer on it here today. And then uh, I got to work at trying to fade in or blend in. Uh, I got an aerosol can mixed up at Napa with the original paint code. Uh, so I'll kind of spray and feather that in and then I'm going to have to come back and kind of <laughs> wreck it a bit and make it look uh, more like the rest of the truck. It's got lots of little scars on it and lots of character. It's been body worked and painted a couple of different places. So uh, not real high standards. Uh, hopefully I can knock the shine off of it and make it look like the rest of the truck. Well, here's where we are now. I've uh, shot two coats of primer on this. The first one I sanded down and then I sprayed it again. Uh, I think once I'm gonna let this set up nice, I'll come back, pull the plastic and tape off and feather the edges in. And then uh, I'm gonna try to tape it and blend it in with the paint that I got. Uh, I did spray a little sample of the paint here on this uh, piece of green card or piece of cardboard that's now green. Uh, the paint looks like it's going to be a pretty good match. So I think after uh, after I fill these spots in and, and paint, then I'll try to sand it and kind of blend it and kind of age it. And uh, I have a gray primer underneath just like what it had. So it should uh, knock down and scratch up and look pretty close to what the original it did. And then uh, I'll have to figure out how to make that seam look like it's supposed to be there. But uh, I'm getting pretty close now. And uh, I will keep going until it's how I like it. Okay, I pulled the masking back now. I'm going to just come in and feather in these edges just to try to take this line down. You can uh, feel it, it's pretty pretty thick right there, but I'll be able to blend it in. Uh, like my bracelet, of course it's a dance weekend here. So I'm just trying to get some work on the truck done between uh, dances with uh, this, our daughter and uh, kids first, truck second, but still trying to find time for the truck. Okay, I got the first uh, coat of paint down. I guess maybe you call it two. Just kind of sprayed a light coat on first, let it flash just a little bit, and then sprayed on a second light coat. Uh, it seems to be giving pretty good coverage. Then uh, I just rolled the tape back some more, and I'm gonna come back here and lay on my final coat, so hopefully that kind of gives it a bit of a uh, disappearing line there. But uh, the color's good, and uh, the texture's pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's fairly flat, really. Uh, I think once I knock it down, with some sandpaper and scratch it up in a few places. It uh, should blend in with the rest of this old truck pretty good. So we'll see. Okay, I got the color sprayed on and the masking pulled off. Pretty happy. I think uh, by the time I rough this up a little bit and dull it down, it's gonna look awesome. I think it's gonna blend in really well. I'm gonna come back and you know, maybe drag some stuff across it and kind of try to get some of the same scratches and wear marks that the trucks had. I think uh, I think when I'm done, I actually got this molding. I cut it down and I beat the edge of it in so I can kind of make it look finished again. And uh, I think putting that molding back on will draw your eye away from the paint. And uh, we'll see how many people even really notice in the end. But either way, I don't care. It's going to look cool, and I'm going to love it. Well, there it is. Uh, paint has been wet sanded. I mean, you can see there's a bit of a color difference in it, but uh, I mean, it's not that big a deal. I even went back and I knocked uh, some scratches into it and kind of tried to keep the same beat up look. And uh, I think it worked. 
up front here, I could probably do a little bit more yet. It really shows on the camera here more than in person. But uh, still needs a bit more wet sanding here. And then uh, I haven't decided if I'll try to buff it or not. Might just kind of leave it dull and try to make the paint look a little older than it is. But uh, so far I'm happy. Just keep working out this edge a little bit more, I guess. But uh, spent a little bit more time on the back here so far and I think it looks a little better. But uh, that's probably about as good as it's going to get, which is fine by me. Now to just to get to the other side and all the welding along the floor here yet to do and the sides of the bed. And then back over here and finish body work on this side and uh, filling it and sanding it and then we'll blend this side as well. Uh, it's not too big a deal considering some of the other uh, body jobs have been done on this thing so far. Like I said, the standards haven't been set really high, so it's easy to match it up just by not trying too hard. Well, that's about it for this weekend. And uh, if you like my videos, keep uh, liking and subscribing to them because like I said before, it really motivates me to keep going. And it's not gonna be much longer now. We'll be able to drive this thing. Uh, I got my new welder. So pretty excited to fire that guy up and uh, finish on this job here, which is a whole bunch of plating and filling and, and uh, figuring out a mount for the gas tank in the back here. So until next weekend, thanks for watching.